Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, JDC family. My name is Jay. This is my Diecast Creations channel, and today we got something different from Diecast. Something that I've never done on the channel before. Something that's totally outside of the box that came in a box. Something that I didn't think I was going to end up getting into. Um, but I thought that this was the perfect time to do it. So this is a box kit uh, model made by uh, M-E-N-G, Meng. Uh, I think it's made in China. Um, but it's called World War Tunes. And it's kind of like a tuned uh, version of of tanks throughout history. Uh, World War II, I believe. Um, this is the Tiger One. Now, I don't, I don't know a lot about tanks. Um, I do know a good amount because I played World of Tanks for quite a while on the uh, Xbox, and this is a tank that did very, very well in that game. Um, the Tiger One. I do know some things about it. It is a German tank, so it was an evil SOB. But what I did with it is different. Um, this tank is known to have strong frontal armor. Okay, so the frontal armor here is very thick. Um, the sides, not so much. And the top, really not so much either. But the cupola, which is up top. And then there's the, um, I forget the name of this, but... This is a strong metal plate on the front of the gun where, uh, you know, you're always going to want to point the front of your tank at the enemy, right? So that's just a little bit of a tank um, background, right? And I don't know if this is, uh, if this is, if this is um, appropriate or not, but um, Sean Coral asked... For everyone to do a, a build off, and I and I was already thinking about doing this, but he kind of beat me to the punch um, to to show support for Ukraine. Right, everybody knows what's going on in the world right now, and it's a really sad thing that's going on over there. And we have a we have a a Ukrainian uh, member of our community, so it's I felt it important, and and by the time you guys watch this, it's probably in his hands already. Because I'm going to send this to him. Um, but I basically took that that um, that kit and I built it out as if it was a Ukrainian um, kit. So like everything, when it came out, it, everything was this color, right? This tan color. Um, and I wanted to use my imagination a little bit. I know that the Germans used a lot of gray um, in their, in their tank camouflages and stuff. So I went about my own thing. I gave it more of an, uh, a jungle, um, scheme, but it's got a green, it's got a green, um, base coat. It was primed black actually, I should say. And then I went in with uh, tacky putty and I lined out all the camouflage, right? I lined out all the camouflage and then I sprayed down the green um, went over, went over the green with, uh, with my, with my washes, brown washes, right? And that's what kind of gives it that breakup where there's the brown in there. Um, I went about the bottom with some, uh, heavier mud looking stuff, you know, figuring that this would be a, a tank that had seen battle, um, and was captured by the Ukrainian army, um, a while back, obviously, this is a World War II tank, um, and it's been sitting in their stash, um, until they needed some help, right, and it's a tuned version, so I figured it would give a little bit of a, uh, a light to the situation, um, you know, not that it's a funny situation, but I, I thought that it might, it might, um, put a smile on, on Nas's face, because Nas is Ukrainian, um, he's dealing with this right now, and I, f I wanted to send him something that was special, um, and after I built it, I, I started to have second thoughts about whether it was appropriate or not, but, um, you know, it is what it is, Nas, if you want, if you don't, if you feel like it's gonna be a bad, um, a bad energy in your, in your, um, your aura, um, feel free to, feel free to auction this thing off, man, and, uh, send the proceeds over to your people over there, 
Um, this is the first model kit that I've put together. Um, so I, I know that there's some things I could have did better. Um, like, like the, the molding of the cracks together. Um, I know that a lot of, and like trimming out some of these sprue pieces where they're still left on there. I could have took a razor blade to it and some sandpaper and I didn't. Um, and those are all things that you learn as you do things, right? Um, Basically, what I did was I, 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 I did the paint, I put the wash on there, and then I went in and detailed all this um, all these little things, right? The shovel, the axe, the wood, the, the wires that you would use, that they would use to, like, tow the other tanks out of mud and stuff like that. Um, did that. I cleared it all. I went over it with uh, weathering powders, the snow color. Because it is cold over there in Ukraine, so I figured some snow might have fell on the thing, right? Um, it does turn, the, the turret turns, right? It's a functioning turret. Um, and then I, and and the gun goes up and down, right? Um, and then I custom made a, a flag. This flag is, is uh, made out of tissue paper and Mod Podge. And it's on a paper clip, so it actually comes off. The paper clip is there. And I used a piece of uh, uh, polystyrene. Polystyrene, I painted it black. I glued it on there as, as a flag pole um, instead of drilling a hole in this thing. And then the flag just slips in like that, you know. And then it can be moved however he wants to display it on his, uh, on his, on his display, wherever he ends up putting this thing, right? So... Um, I know that it it might it might not sit very well um, mentally for Nas, so I, I understand that too, man. I didn't think of it until it was it was already too late. Um, I really do hope you enjoy this. I did put a lot of effort and time into the thought of making this, and you know, it, it opened my eyes on how how much fun it can be to make a model kit, but um, it also opened my eyes on how how the skills that I've learned in this hobby can make a difference in, in, in everyday life too. You know, um, this model kit was sitting in the basement for the last eight months or so, and I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And then when, when everything happened, um, and I put two and two together, like, you know, I got to do something for Nas and, then Sean put out that challenge for the Ukraine build. I was like, you know what? I'm not doing a car. I'm not going to do a gas lander. I'm going to do a freaking tank. You know? I'm going to do a Ukrainian powerful, prideful tank for our buddy Nas over there. You know? Because I do support the Ukrainians. And I, and it's and it's a horrible thing that's going on right now. And, uh, and there's some bad SOBs, man. They are strong. And they are fighting for everything that they know. So, Nas, I hope you really enjoy this tank, man. If it's too much mentally on you, just uh, keep the flag and, and burn this thing or, uh, you know, put it up for auction and send the proceeds to your people. So, um, peace and love to Ukraine and peace and love to the Russian cit citizens over there, man. They're going through it. They didn't, they didn't start this war. Um... And they don't deserve what they're going through either, you know. And uh, peace and love to the world, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.